Hey folks, this is Billy D.K.Y., the truth seeker who simplifies and demystifies. This is going to be Conspiracy Theory with Jesse Venturi Commentary. Okay, and this is going to be the 9-11 one, so... I just ran into this series, my dad turned me on to it, and I taped about six of them today, so... You'll probably get quite a few at first, and then I think it comes out every Wednesday, so... Anyway, I personally, I've, I've watched all the videos on YouTube, probably like most of you have, you know, loose change and the like and blah, 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 the 7-7 seven, seven stuff over in Britain or England or wherever it is, and um, I'm basically at peace with 9-11. I'm at peace with 7-7, seven, seven. And, and it's not been an easy journey, but yet I am... I am content with it, fine with it, that's the way life is, I accept the world the way it is, and I focus only on changing myself, and at the end of this video, I'll have a couple links where you can go look at my videos, which I think you're going to get a level of understanding that you didn't expect, it's not necessarily going to be bringing any new facts or secrets that I have that nobody else has, but I will be applying a level of wisdom that really has not been applied to it. I put it in, I, I interlink 9-11 with the master plan of life itself, which is going to be hard for some of you to accept because when you come to peace with things, you come, you, you come to understand it's just the way things are. But anyway, let's get to the show. Like I said, I'm not going to get too much in as, as uh, 9-11, uh, Inside Job or not. I've covered that in the other video. Loose Changes covered it, all those I, you know, I've listened to it. So let's talk about the first thing that happened in the show that I thought was interesting, or new data that wasn't in Loose Change and the like, which was the dust had uh, thermite in it. Or had, you know, they had residue of thermite in it, which that, that was pretty interesting. And, you know, like any crime scene, there's always going to be evidence that somebody overlooks. And, you know, I bet... You know, if you really want to test that dust again, you know, make sure that it's legit. I'm sure there's dust left over laying all over that city somewhere, you know what I'm saying? So, that that was sort of interesting. That was another that was another check mark for 9-11's an inside job. Okay, let me look at my poster board. Just for a second. Okay, and that makes me want to bring up Occam's Razor, which obviously... Probably you scientific-minded folks know. Occam's razor is if you got two model, two competing models, and they both explain the same thing, but one is simpler, you should always pick the simpler model to explain something. So I just want to throw that out there. You know, and really based on all the evidence, inside job sort of seems like the easier situation to believe. And uh, and a, and a thing that I always like to bring up too is, you know, the Pentagon got hit. Just give us some video. Show us the planes running into the place. I mean, that's. I mean, just show it to us. Why would you, if you're the government, why would you want conspiracy theory-minded philosophies and theories to go running wild throughout the population, which is going to do nothing but hurt the society, in my opinion? Why not release a few things here and there to, to show that, you know, you're really on our side, that it's not an inside job, it's just a bunch of con conspiracy nuts and... But they don't do that. They just keep everything locked down. So it doesn't make me feel more secure that it's not an inside job. So that's an X on the uh, on its uh, legitimate, like they said it was. Okay, the black boxes. You know, they made a lot of this uh, episode about the uh, black boxes and, you know, it couldn't be found, they were found. Well, I remember watching this video and, it, and right after 9-11, these guys, they said, you know what, let's... They had a simulator... That they this simulator was used to get real pilots ready before they actually stepped into the real thing, and what they would actually take that simulator and then get right into the real plane and fly live people the first time. So that's how good this simulator was. So these guys said, you know what? Let's see if we can set up the same scenario and see if we can run into the World Trade Centers. And these guys are professional pilots; they're the trainers. You know, they're the train to trainer kind of guys. Well, they couldn't run into it, it and it finally. One guy did run into it, but I think he had to slow it down to like 60% of the speed that those, those planes were flying. So the theory was that those planes had to be, um, they had to be remote controlled or computer controlled to run into the, to the towers like they did. Which that brings up my point. Okay, let's assume that it's like that, that video I, I seen, or I saw, um, 
that they were remote controlled into the uh, into the towers. Well, if that's the case, then if you're gonna set the time up to remote control the plane, why don't you just make the time to cut the boxes out? So then again, you wouldn't find no boxes. So to me, the black box is it, it's a it's a wash, really. It doesn't necessarily prove your case, and doing a sort of it sort of hurts your case. Not finding it actually supports it being an inside job because that means they were remote controlled. The boxes were cut out before you sent the planes out to remote control into the towers. So, I, you know, it, 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 it's not a lot of consistency. So anyway, here's my point. You need to come to terms with the way that life really is. I know you want the life to be a certain way, but life ain't a certain way. Well, actually, life is a certain way. It's just not the way that you want it to be. The sooner you come... To realize real life works the way it really does and any time that people try to create utopia they create hell on earth all the things that happen on an African safari with all the wild animals that stuff is going on in our societies we just try to keep it pushed down like it doesn't exist like we're living in some kind of Disneyland which you don't again I'll pop a bubble up and you can go check out the um, it's called I think it's called God's Plan, World Government, and 9-11. Again, it's not going to be necessarily what you want to hear. It's going to take you time to digest that. It's some deep stuff. I deal with it on the deepest level I possibly can. So that's going to be hard for you. Next video I got, I'll put a link up there to is Secret Societies. And basically I reveal that secret, why secret societies exist and how it's related to the human mind. It's pretty interesting. It gives you new insights that you... And new wisdom that you probably never really considered before. And again, accept the world as it is and change only yourself. Evil stuff has been going on from, since the beginning of time and good stuff's been going on since the beginning of time. And I tell people there's a harmony between good and evil that can never be broken. And if you try to seek one, you, you'll wind up causing the other to happen. And so it's like I was telling uh, football fan 533 today. Here's sort of how it works. Evil is needed typically to get in and start something out. Or greedy people get something started. And then, then eventually control comes in and goodness takes over. And then it's sort of fine. Or somewhat fine. And it's sort of like the Wild West. When the Wild West started out you had a bunch of gunslingers. And just crazy wild. And you had good and evil going on. But then eventually control come in and set it all down. And put it in order. And that's the same thing you're going to see in world government too. It's going to start out with greedy people doing their thing, exploiting the people, but eventually structure will come in, settle it down, and that's just the way life really works. And again, I'll do another video on that because I think uh, I think he also Jesse does another one on world new, new world order and the secret society. So I will be addressing those things. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoy it, and don't. Don't get too irritated when I'm trying to tell you. Try to listen. Try to understand. Let your emotions go low key. Try to peer try to pierce deeper into it to the essence of life. Anyway. Good luck with it, folks. I know it ain't easy. It took me a while to just really come to peace with it, but I'm at peace with it now. Later, folks. Sort of like I say, it's sort of old news now. I mean it's just it's it's obvious that's what happened. This is the way it is, and that's why it's, what's happened is happening. So anyway, later folks.